So hello and welcome you all to Sale to MDS Dental Academy. I am Dr. Malaj Yudhi, Pediatric Dentist and Professor in College of Dental Sciences. So today, students, we are here with the SRC paper discussion of 2021. That is the latest SRC paper. Remember, this SRC papers are useful for the NE student, for the INICT students, and also for other exams also because good quality questions used to be there in this SRC question. Those students who are a part of our academy already all papers have updated on our website. Those who have not joined and want to join, the details are there at the end of the video and also in the description box. So let us start with the SRC paper. We are going to discuss around 10 to 12 questions in detail. So first we are going to discuss the OPATH SRC paper. So the first question is segmental circulation is seen in xylography in which condition? Most commonly it is seen in Silodocitis. Now let's see how it appears. So this you can see the appearance that is the segmental circulation or dilation. Or sometimes you can see here the stricture of the main that can also happen. It looks like a sausage link appearance. Then aspirant to prevent osteodonecrosis, when should extraction should be planned? Remember it should be planned prior to chemo and radiotherapy. Now let us see the osteodonecrosis in detail. Most often it happens 6 to 12 months around following radiation therapy. The incidence is around 5 to 7 percent for conventional radiotherapy, IMRT and brachytherapy. Remember IMRT means what? Intensity Modulation Radiation Therapy. Uh, uh, this is nowadays new technology aspirant to treat all the cancerous and non-cancerous tumor. You know what happened in the IMRT? They narrow the beam of radiation to the size of tumor. So the scatter radiation will be decreased. But the, remember this important fact that the incidence of ORN is around 5 to 7 percent most frequently seen in mandible because of their lower muscularity. And this osteoradionecrosis is dose dependent. If it is more than 66 gray, the chance of occurrence will increase 11 fold. When the dose is less than 60 gray, it is unlikely and it rarely occurs if the dose is less than 50 gray. Then radiotherapy, dental care is very important to minimize ORN. Carious teeth must be restored before radiation therapy. Proper oral hygiene and uh, topical fluoride application should be emphasized in such patient. And teeth with extensive caries and poor periodontal support may be extracted. And allow two to three weeks for the proper healing of extraction wound before you go for the radiation or chemotherapy. Then which of the following does not show acanthosis or acantholysis? Remember in epidermolysis bullosa, acanthosis or acantholysis does not occur. Okay, now what it is aspirant? Acantholysis means what? Loss of coherence between epidermal cells due to breakdown of intercellular bridges. It is very important mechanism mostly seen in various bullous disorders particularly the pampicus group and also in many non-blistering disorders. What is acanthosis? The name on it is thickened epidermis. So the increased thickness of malfusion layer is the cause for acanthosis. Then few important question for the orthodontics SR sheep. So what's the advantage of passive self ligation bracket? The advantage is low friction mechanics. Now understand self ligating bracket in little detail. So what are they? They are the word self ligating means what? They have the locking mechanisms like ring, spring, door mechanism that holds the arch wire in the bracket slot. We have two type of passive system. Name should be remembered. In passive system, we have Damon, Ormocro, or then uh, Dentorum. Okay. Here the slot is locked or a shut with a rigid locking mechanism. Then active system we have speed commonly used nowadays. Here the locking mechanism consists of flexible but resilient clip that can actively engage wire into the bracket slot once the arch wire reaches a certain size or deflection. Then what is the advantage of arch wire coating? Remember the decrease friction between bracket and arch wire. Then what is the bite of accommodation? It is the posture in the mandible laterally to establish maximum intercuspation in bilaterally narrow maxilla cases. 
Then let's see Perry, a few important questions. So what is fenestration in implant? It is exposure of axial surface with the coronal surface unexposed. Then what is the classification, new classification of the EAP? So when can you say the case of peri implantitis on the basis of probing depth? Remember, if the probing depth is more than 6 mm, you can define it as a case of peri implantitis. So please remember this classification, stage 1, BOP, there is a bleeding on probing or SUP, there is separation and bone loss less than 3 mm. We are on biological bone uh, remodeling. Stage 2, if it is between 3 to 5 mm. Stage 3, where it is more than 5 mm. Okay. Here you can say the peri implantitis is there. And stage 4, where more than 50% of implant length bone loss is there beyond biological bone remodeling. Then what is a closed side co contains aspirant? Remember, this is a co-adjuvant gel used for the treatment of periodontal pocket. Mostly it consists of chlorhexidine digluconate, slow release 0.5% and chlorhexidine dihydrochloric rapidly release 1%. Then let's see if you important question of prosthodontics. Very important question this is. So with the change in denture bearing area, how a maximum retention can be obtained in complete denture patient with the help of balancing the muscular forces. Remember the polished surface should occupy the neutral zone between the cheek and tongue. You can see here this is the cheek area, this is the tongue area and this is your denture. So what happened? This active muscular force is double the retention provided by physical forces. So it's a, one of the way, reverse way of asking neutral zone concept. Then mandibular guide flange therapy. Remember when it should be started. It should be started two weeks after surgery once post surgical sequelae have stopped. Now important point for the mandibular uh, guidance therapy, remember, depends on the early beginning, the nature of the surgical defect and the patient cooperation. It should begin when the immediate post-surgical sequelae have subsided, usually within 2-3 to three weeks after surgery. And this therapy is very successful in patient whose resection involve only bone structure and minimally the tongue, the floor of mouth and contagious soft tissues. Now what happened? In a patient with a denture, how can you state the viscoelastic property of tissue? So it is stated by initial instantaneous recovery followed by delayed recovery upon denture removal. So dear aspirants, that was all from my side. We have discussed around 10 to 12 latest SR ship question. If anybody wants to join our test series, all the papers are there. You can join. The information is there on the screen as well in the description box. Till then, any help you want regarding your preparation, you can let me know.